Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm sharing another morning routine with you. It feels like a long time since I filmed one, um, but I love filming these kinds and I hope that you enjoy watching it. So I've been waking up at around 6.15 recently and this is actually a morning routine for when I have work. I've recently started working in a school part-time. If I'm feeling particularly tired, I will read in bed for a little bit just to wake myself up, but I try to get out of bed quite quickly. Then I will put on my dressing gown because it's usually very cold and I will head to the bathroom. And yes, I do read whilst brushing my teeth. This is something I've done for upwards of five years. Even though it's only a short period of time, I find it sets a good precedent for my day because I'm basically starting the day by telling myself that I'm going to make time for reading and I'm going to fill empty spaces I might have with reading. And I love books, so this is something I definitely want to be doing. Next, I do morning skincare. So I tie my hair back and I use the Milky Jelly Cleanser from Glossier. Um, mine is really running out, so I filled it up with a bit of cold water to get the last bit out. And then I just dab my face dry and I will put in my contact lenses. My eyesight isn't very good at all and so I do wear contact lenses most days, but I do always keep my glasses in my bag just in case. Then I get changed. Hey Google, can you please play the news? Here's the latest news. Hey Google, can you turn it down? I start with the Ordinary Facial Serum. I really like this. Oh, and everyone in my family is usually asleep at this time. <laughs> hey Google, can you turn it down please? So I always get worried that it's too loud. And for face cream, I use the Sunbum Factor 50 face cream because wearing an SPF is important. Then I put on some makeup as well. And if you want to see my makeup routine, I actually shared that in my last video. Then I will make my bed. I can't start the day without making my bed. And can we for a second please just admire how beautiful these jelly cat octopuses are? Honestly, the cutest things ever. Next, I will head downstairs to get some breakfast. I like to eat basically first thing in the morning. I also make myself a mug of tea. I always start the day with green tea and my favorite is the mouth feng one from Tea Pigs. It tastes amazing. And I'm really actually quite upset that I found this tea because the one I used to drink every day was cheaper and then I tried this one and it's so good that half a week I drink this one now. It just starts my day off on such a good foot and it feels really luxurious every morning. So I'm going to be sharing my favourite breakfast with you. I have been having this maybe four times a week. It's just so good. So I start with some peanut butter protein powder. This is basically dehydrated peanut butter. I don't like any other protein powders and I will mix that with Alpro plain yogurt to make a peanut buttery yogurt. I will mix through a banana and then I will add some chocolate chips and also some cacao nibs. Then of course crunchy peanut butter. Very necessary with any breakfast. And then I will also mix through some brown flakes and some granola and it is so delicious. In the morning, I will also read. I try to read 30 pages every day. Um, here you can see I am reading Prince Harry's memoirs. They're just so culturally important that I couldn't not read them. So my intention was to film this whole morning routine on this day, but I find that when I film the morning routine, everything takes longer and 
I realised I was going to be late for work if I kept on filming this morning routine, so instead I'm filming this the next day when I wasn't working. But I still wanted to show you everything that I do. I read 30 pages of each Prince Harry's book and also The Monstrous Child, uh, which is a middle grade book. And this is because I'm trying to read a load of middle grade books at the moment so that I can recommend them to some of the students. After that, it's time for journaling. I've got back into journaling, but I'm not doing it in the evenings anymore, which is what I always used to do. I quite like doing it in the mornings because it clears my mind. Oh, and today my ink cartridge had run out, so I have reusable ink cartridges for my Lamy pen and my Parkers, and so I just refilled these up. It's a more sustainable option. But I do always tend to get ink on the desk, as you can see. Then after that, I turn on my computer and I will switch on some classical music on Spotify. Today, I'm listening to Pride and Prejudice soundtrack. And then the next habit I have is doing some research into something. It could be anything, but today it was Friday 13th, so I did some research into Paris trifobia and why it exists at all, why people are scared of it, why there's a superstition behind it. And I also spend about 20 minutes writing. <laughs> I try to get a little bit of fresh air. Nature and being outside is so good for your mental health and I think going outside for even one or two minutes in the morning can make a world of a difference to your mindset for the rest of the day. So I kind of try to practice mindfulness whilst I'm outside. I will just try and be really attentive to everything around me, um, the beauty of the morning, this morning, how gorgeous the frost was. Then I got back inside and I made myself a coffee. So I've got into coffee and I thought I would show you how I make my coffee. So I use one of the compostable grind pods and put that in the coffee machine. And I personally prefer iced coffee. I think it's so much better. So I fill up a cup with ice and then I add oat milk I also add the sweet birds vanilla syrup So then before leaving, I will quickly plan my day. So I take out my yearly planner and I will just write a very quick to-do list of everything which I need to get done that day, including key events. 
Obviously this particular day I didn't have work, but I did have a ballet class, which was really good. I went with my grandma and it was really fun. And these are the yearly planners from my stationery shop, Pumpkin Productivity, if you haven't seen them before. I will then just very quickly check my emails and I, when I say very quickly I mean just glance through them, spend one to five minutes just making sure that there isn't anything super pressing and urgent. I will then very quickly tidy my desk and my room. Again, this only takes me about one or two minutes because I tend to stay quite on top of my room and tend to keep it quite tidy. But I really don't like getting home at the end of the day and for my room to be messy. I mainly pack my bag the night before, but I will just add anything into my bag that I need. Before I leave, I quickly fill up my water bottle because staying hydrated is key. And then I will leave. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm only working part time as I say, but I'm really enjoying this job so far. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a productive week.